talking. Take all your pants, pants, pants. Bitch, ain't no one talking, talking. talking. Why me do my dance, 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 dance? Pants in my pocket. Uh, long way tutorial for a sky replacement and I'm just gonna give you guys ah, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to use the music videos instead of just replacing it so yeah you guys saw the preview I used a still image one and I used the video one um, a little things to know about your footage you don't want to have a lot of movement especially in Vegas because you can't because uh, either you're gonna have to mask out everything and your chroma key is gonna be bad or yeah so that's why i did an image about right here or yeah about like right about i believe right here i did a still image and then i just moved it with shake and then i believe i did a moving one right here okay so there's a lot of different ways to do a sky replacement um you can use chroma key and key and mask so that's basically it. Uh, <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is, since this is pretty much a white black background in the sky, I'm just going to use Luma Key, and to ne you need the you need BCC plugins for that. Where's my plugins? Hold on. I'm going to use BCC Linear Luma Key. Um, it's just this is the best choice if you have a all white background or a very bright background. Background. If you have like a bluish, obviously you can use that, but Chrome Key is either going to work better. Uh, for that, but for right now, since it's pretty white, we're going to use LumaKey. So I have BCC plugins. You're going to need BCC plugins for LumaKey. Drag that on. I guess you can also use Dissolve Luma, but I'm not too positive on that. So yeah, Linear LumaKey. Drag that on, and then he, you'll see he gets darker. We don't want that. We're going to go here to Key Type, click that, Key Out Brighter, and then boom. Um, threshold. I'm going to bring this up a little bit to about right here to where we can get the most out of the sky and the least out of right here so i have the most out of the sky uh, like right about here most out of the sky and the least right here now like i said uh, you either want to use this for a still image that was the first one i showed you or a video um, i can use a video for this one since if i look at my video these things don't really move and it's going to be a little five second clip so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mask this out right here and then i'll show you so i'm going to split the clip and then control and bring it one down pan and crop the first one mask and just do this about him because we just don't want this right here we want it to be normal like that and then take out the Luma key, and then he was normal. So we have the the back masked out with this being normal right here. You can see some little movement right here. That's just because I didn't animate the mask, but to do that, you just go back to, you guys know how to do it. You just go back to mask and then just, you know, change the keyframes. Uh, yeah, like that's fine right there. Oh, yeah, maybe what if it looks like that? So, uh, yeah, maybe don't maybe do a better job than I did, but you guys get the point. Mask it frame by frame um, to make it look the best. So now we, what we have to do is we have to put our um, our effects on and our t sky replacement. So you can use any background you want, any overlay. I'm just gonna use like a sky. I have so if I go to my editing pack, I think this part is my this dark this dark sky right here. I can use this one. It all depends on your clip. So I'm just gonna drag this dark sky down below this clip, and then I'll have this. Now you see it looks kind of uneven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to color corrector, and then your good thing the color corrector oh no color curve sorry color curves and good thing the original color curves comes with a nighttime preset you can just drag that on to the top one and the second one 
and it looks like it fits the scene more well he's kind of dark but if it kind of looks good because if you look at the light source it, it's hitting him from the back so he it should be oh wait i'm pointing with my finger it should this should be dark and it shouldn't have light on it unless you're filming with the light if that makes sense so always think about your light source coming towards him and it's behind him if if it's too dark you just mess with the color curves so uh, fx and yeah let's see I don't know this by heart. Oh, don't want that. Don't want that either. Okay, hold on. Let me go. RGB. Wait. Like a brighter blue. And make sure that um, you can just save this as a preset and then just go to this one and copy it. So here's, let me do that. Let me uh, save this as like night two or something. Right two, save. Go to the bottom one. And right two, and that fits the scene a little bit more. Also, if you look at it, that's our that's our um, sky replacement. What we can also do is we can a uh, here. Let me cut this, and then we can since it's a fast sky replacement. I'm just gonna make my video in the background faster and then I was about to unchrome key that but we'll change that later if you look at the background it's moving faster um, okay and I think in the preview I did I did a shake with it so let's see what I did uh, what you can do is if you finish this effect which I just learned I, I like to re render these out and then because it's just clean the effect but make sure you're finished with all the effects and this the way you like it um and then i just render it out and put it in the track but if it's the way you like it and you don't want to change the effects just press Control m on your keyboard um let's go sky to effect tut or something render that out it'll take a few seconds because it's a little bit and then it'll be on your timeline so now we, we can delete these bottom clips right we can delete these bottom clips and it should be the whole video okay so what I did in the preview is with it's kind of harsh if you from like a really bright to a really dark so I guess you can fade it in like this or do a transition a wipe transition that'll look cool too but I just did a one of my transitions which is just a shake or one of my preset shakes and then Oh yeah, just appreciate shake. So now that I rendered it together, I only have to put the effect on one layer. So if you look at the effects, there's no effects on it, and the pan and crop is the same, right? No effects, pan and crop is default, no no keyframes. So shake, and then I put my preset on here, and then I went about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keyframe zero so it's not not a harsh transition nope let me go preview auto not a harsh transition and i think it looks cooler and then i believe i did it reverse where I'm, i might not have i don't know all right so that's pretty much the video one let's move on to the still image one so if you let's say you don't want to do any masking you just want to do masking once or none at all um you can do this still image one and it's, it still looks pretty cool so what i did is i pretty much found a cool screenshot like this where he's in the air i saved it as a screenshot save drag it onto my clip put it on top of the film or put it on top of the this layer and where exactly it is so you don't want to have it messed up any any um, split the bottom clip, move the bottom clip to however many frames I want. So let's say I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And move it right there. Split the top clip, delete that, and just have it right here. So now we have this. And it looks kind of whack. I mean, it depends if you want like a glitch effect. You can have a still snapshot, but um, we're going to try to make it a little bit more smooth. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going we're gonna to sky replacement him. Right? The same thing as uh, Luma Key. Boom. I forgot my 
thing I'm going to use, but I'm going to go KL Brighter. I can't see anything, so it's going to look like that. Okay. Insert a new video track just to make it even. Dragging on my red sky right here. Put it underneath him, and there we go. Now go back to the first video effects. I hope this is recording my voice. I don't know. One time I did that. Um, have it like that. It's a little bit in the background, which I don't like, but that's okay. Softness. Uh, have that. Post blur. A little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And now, since it's a still image, we don't really have to keyframe the mask. We can just mask it out one time. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna duplicate or insert a new video track. Duplicate this top, or actually. I can just drag this one on top. Okay. Actually, no. Here's, we'll just duplicate the top clip because we already have the effects on it. Pan crop. Uh, go into it like this. Uh, really crudely do this. Where's that? Right here. Boom. Okay. Uh, that looks garbage. Okay, and then I have let me feather out no both. Okay, there we go. I don't want a loom key. That was my problem before. Okay, and here's our. Okay, here I have a preview. And here's the effect. Now, here, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter, like I said before, or fast forward it. So it gives it more of the fast pace feel. Okay, and then we still have to put on the effects I did before. So I'm going to go color curves. I guess you can you can also use color corrector and put on, you know, an orange like this. And uh, I'll, I'll just do I'll put th I'll do this for the tutorial. Um, I recommend just using color curves and changing it, but this is nice right here. Makes the scene all orange and go with the sky. Obviously, you won't be this orange if the sky is, you know, if the sky looks like this, you won't be this orange in real life. You'll have it a little bit less, but just to save time, I do this. All right. So way the way I did this one is, I transitioned it with a Gaussian blur. So you want to go to Gaussian blur. And then I did soften, maybe extreme. Yeah, soften. Keyframed it. Went out about like one, two, three frames, maybe four. And then just took that off. Did it for the bottom clip as well. Again, if you only want to do this once and not twice, you can do that control M thing I showed you. And so you don't have to put the effects on both clips. Okay, so now it looks like this. I think I also I sh went to my shake, put on my this preset, but uh, just looking at it, that looks too much. Yep, that's too much. I'm gonna bring this down to about let's say there, and yep, so 272. Remember that? Actually, I'm going to shake no motion. I'm going to save this as a preset. Okay, let me get this preset back. Where's it at? Okay. So now we have this effect. And it looks kind of like, you can also do this with slow-mo. Um, let's say you slow-mo your clip, which I probably should have showed you guys, like velocity slow mode. Um, then you won't have that many keyframes to render since it'll be in the same spot. Um, but you guys, if by showing you the still image, it's pretty much the same thing. So slow mo it or fast pace, boom. I also added a uh, pan crop zoom in. So what I did was I keyframed the beginning one, two, three, four. Zoom in a little. Wait, that's too much. Okay, went to the beginning or to the end. Default. Make sure you save uh, your pan and crop presets because one, two, three, four. 
so you don't have to eyeball it in how big it is because now I don't know uh, I think that's good okay and then go to the end default and I it was something it was something like this yeah it was something like that um, I think that I, th I think I should bring the pan crop about two frames in and not four but you guys get the drift. I mean, you guys can put lightning in here and do everything, or maybe do a cool glitch matrix with him, with the glitch effect on him. That'll look tight. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Leave a like if you liked. Leave a dislike if you did disliked. Um, subscribe if you want to. I read you guys comments yesterday about only doing Sony Vegas, so I guess I'm only doing Sony Vegas. But I might make a second channel and do AE and stuff. I just want 10,000 subscribers. I really want to hit that because then I could do so much more with 10,000 subscribers more opportunities come up to me so yeah so hopefully i can get 10,000 subscribers it really really means a lot i mean it really means a lot i already have 5,000 but thanks thanks a lot for that um all right peace out later